Hey everyone, it's Roy with Stay Fit Personal Training and we're at the end of week number five for the Holiday Fitness Challenge. The Holiday Fitness Challenge at Total Fitness. So uh, someone mentioned to me if there was a simple way to uh, expand on what it is they should not be eating and I said to them, well, you don't want to eat crap. And the person looked at me like I had two heads, like what do you mean crap? Okay, so crap is an acronym uh, that uh, represents the foods that you should be minimizing in your daily eating plan. So the C stands for carbonated and carbonated beverages which, you know, aka soda. So if you're drinking a lot of sodas, it's going to be very hard to achieve your weight loss goal. So. You don't want to have too much soda. You can drink water, which is recommended. As a matter of fact, the more water you can drink, up to maybe uh, you know eight glasses, eight eight ounces, or sixty four ounces a day would be good. Some people, it's half their body weight in ounces. And the R stands for refined. So if something is refined, that usually means they've taken out a lot of the vitamins and minerals, and they've added in all these different chemical, preservatives, sugars, etc. And as you know, uh, sugar can be very addictive and it's found in so many different food, it's amazing. But it's not just going to say sugar in the label, it's going to come disguised in all different names that you probably won't even be able to pronounce or understand. So just know that if it's refined, it's not good for you. And then the A is to replace the sugar that they've taken out. So what they do is they put an artificial sweetener. An artificial sweetener is even worse than sugar because you know you get so addicted to that taste and it's more not only is it not bringing in nutrients into your body but it also depletes the body of nutrients so you know it's robbing you of your nutrients so you want to forget, forget about carbonated uh, beverages you want to eliminate the refined foods as much as possible and the artificial sweeteners now all of that really means processed and that's what the P stands for in crap so if you can keep the processed foods to the minimum, I usually tell my clients to think in terms of 40, 30, 30. So 40 would be plant-based. So most of your food would be 40% plant-based nutrition. The other 30% uh, percent would be maybe from animal protein. I mean, you get lots of protein in plant, but you know more complete protein is found in animal protein. And the last 30%, you, which you really cannot eliminate, would be the process. So at least if you keep that in mind, 40, 30, 30, 40% plant-based, 30% protein, and 30% process, and you stay away from as much crap as possible, it'll help you achieve your goals, which is going to keep the weight off and hopefully keep it off. And we're looking forward to continuing this uh, holiday fitness challenge. I know somebody's going to get that TV. I don't know who quite yet, but there are some people who are doing really well. So keep up the good work and stay fit.